Hey guys, TechnoVenture here with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to fix this error and get around could not create an Apple ID error message that you might be getting on a device that you're trying to create a new Apple ID. In this video, we're going to first explain to you guys why you're getting this message and then after that, we're going to show you guys a couple ways to go about fixing this message and start using your iPad, iPhone, or whatever device you're looking to create that Apple account on. But before we go ahead and get started, if you guys are new to a channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you guys are in the market for one of these phenomenal devices at a discounted price, make sure you guys check out the link in the description section. So first, let's talk about why you're getting this error message. Well, this error message is shown on devices that have created five accounts or iCloud accounts already on them. So what Apple has is this rule where you're only allowed to create five free accounts on the device before it stops you from creating more so they don't want someone to create hundreds of accounts. But there's ways to get around this. And the first thing you can do is simply, if you're running on, this is on iOS, 14 but it will work on iOS 13 slightly different but you can figure out pretty much the same thing so the air message of course you're getting is simply when you're going through this way into the settings and you're probably creating an account through this method where you select this and then you say you don't have a Apple ID and then when you're trying to create Apple ID here you're getting that air message but we're not going to create it through here what we're going to do is simply going to go ahead to either App Store here, you might see create an Apple account on the older iOS's, but if you don't see it there, you're going to go ahead and open up App Store. Once you open up App Store, you're going to simply click on that, that profile icon on the right hand corner. Once you click on that, it's going to pop up the account menu. Right there, it's going to ask you to sign in if you have it, but of course you don't. Now this time, you're going to try to create an account through this method where it says create new Apple ID. You're going to simply click on that, and once you click on that, Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi or it won't work or if you have SIM card data, make sure that's turned on. You're going to go ahead and type in your email address, your password and then the region and then this way go through the setup process and for the credit card or payment option, you can select none and it will get you through and create and hopefully that error message won't appear as this is one workaround to that. Okay, what if it didn't work this way or you can't find this method? The second method you can do is simply go to this website specifically for creating an Apple account. You're going to go to Apple ID Apple.com. So you're going to go to this here, right here. You'll see this is the Apple ID.apple.com. This is the official page to sign into your Apple ID and much more. So as you can see, if you go down here, it'll say create Apple ID. And once you click on that same thing, similar like the way we did in the App Store, you can go ahead, simply enter your information in here. You might need a phone number uh, to verify that, but you're able to just type in that and then hit continue and you'll be able to create an Apple account through this method. And then you can go back into the settings and simply here you can now sign in so you don't have to create an account through this method and it's the same account there. So that's method number two. Method number three is simply going to be getting another device. So this method you can borrow a device from a family or friend or anyone or if you can go to Apple store somewhere maybe they allow you to use the display model or whatnot and you're going to go ahead and take that device and simply follow this method that we showed you where you can go to the app store and create one or through the actual settings you're going to go ahead and create it on that device so or you can even go to apple id dot apple dot com and create it there and once you have created there make sure you know the password and such one thing is that when you create that account it's going to be asking for a valid email so if you have an email make sure you get the valid email because it's going to ask you to verify that and you want to be able to verify that code that they sent you to create that account and once you have done this uh, you can sign into the Apple ID on the phone or iPhone iPad whatever you have that you're giving the issue and hopefully you were able to get rid of that could not create Apple ID and you were now able to use it like you normally would so hopefully these solutions were helpful. If these solutions were helpful, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Also, if you guys are in the market, as you say, for one of the newer devices because you have outdated devices, make sure you guys check out the discounted link. And if you guys had any other issues, questions, leave a comment in the comment section. We'll try to answer that for you. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.